Trans Tactics, a new episode just for you and for me, of course, too. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, guys. Hi, Anna. Nice to uh, nice to be back, of course. Absolutely. Last uh, week we had a couple uh, of uh, problems with some nightmares, so I hope we can chill and relax with our first exercise for today. For you at home, quickly take a look underneath the video as a description of every position on in the chess space news article so if you want to replay them if you want to download those positions and check them on your own please do so this is your tactics training this is an encouragement to do tactics training as often as possible at least every friday that's a good start absolutely at least so what's the theme today lawrence all right so i mean we've looked for weeks now we've been uh we've been looking at great players uh famous players uh legends of the game and today a legend a little closer to home Anna. okay you all right the, the one and only wolfgang ullman huh yes uh, that rings a bell rings a bell he died uh, a couple years ago yeah um but is almost certainly the well in the top three most famous german players of all time, of course, he was born in East Germany. He was born, I think, in Dresden. Um, and uh, he got to the candidates um, in the 70s uh, and, you know, won the East German championships many times and uh, was uh, a staple part of the Olympia team and and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, so you know him um what what kind of player was he was he very positional very attacking or um i don't really know mm -hmm. I, I it's difficult for me to say his style exactly i'm i'm not entirely sure i mean he used to play the french a lot so ah, yeah, that was probably... you're right i remember that too ulman and the french that is actually a real theme yeah yeah yes so he was he was he was almost certainly a you know a, a theoretician and and yeah. probably quite a dynamic player so nice yeah so like quickly who are the two other germans so there's laska well, i guess Oh well, I mean, if we're going all the way back, goodness, <laughs> there's probably more. Yeah, I mean, okay, so in the so, in, in the twentieth century, you, you or or le let's say in the last 20, 30, 40 years, that's Hubner. So, yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking Hubner, uh, Laska. If you really go back, I guess Adolf Anderson from the nineteenth century is also theoretically German. True. true yeah. Um, Sounds very Swedish, you, but it's German. Yeah. Yeah, you've even got, uh, if you go really back, one of my favorite games um, that I show a lot of my students is the game um, of von Badeleven. Von uh, Badeleven, again, okay. Yeah, von Badeleven against, um, he was against Steinitz in... Uh, oh, that's, a, that's a while ago, yeah. Yeah, I, I, was it Steinitz? I think it was Steiners from Bad Lim from Hastings, the famous guy. I'm getting I confused. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not even sure if you even showed it here at one point or Post. something. Could be. But at least something from Bad Lim. I think I remember yeah. that. I think Yefim Boglyubov was kind of born in the German Empire, but maybe he was Ukraine. I'm not sure. But definitely, I mean, I would say Hubna, Ullmann, and Laska for me are the top three German. Mm -hmm well-known historical figures. I think everybody would agree with uh, that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're white. So this is a first game against, uh, and the name you'll recognize, Pitts. Uh, now, this was played in 1984, so it can't be Lizzie. <laughs> um, that would be physically impossible. That would I'm be crazy. Pretty, pretty sure it's I Thomas. Think, it's. I think it's her father, yeah. That, yes. that, that is more likely. Very good chess player. Grandmaster too, isn't Grandmaster, he? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Grandmaster, strong player. Mm. This was played in Halle in 1984, and it's wise play. Now, I've put the wrong move on the board there, so I'm going to go back to the correct position, which is here. Okay. And it's wide to play. So, goody. So, at home, please, let's uh, do our training. Relax. Take a deep breath. Have your coffee or tea ready. Maybe another beverage. And... 
let us solve this tactics, you can stop the video or do it in your own tempo or just follow my thoughts and the explanation of our coach, Lawrence. All right, so first we give some checks, I would say. Let's give a check on c8 with the queen. This is how we start. Well, well, it is. Well, but I mean, actually, yes, it is. But of course, the important thing to point out, just the very easy thing to point out, that e takes d3 immediately, clearly loses just to bishop takes f3 check, that hurts. followed by queen takes rook mate, right? So that's just very, very clear. Yeah. So we already know that we can't take the knight. Um, so as you correctly did, uh, uh, Anna, which is the way we go with these, so we give the check, and after bishop takes c8, Hold on a second. You've given up a whole queen. Have you actually analyzed after this? Because no, no. I just wanted to give the check first okay. because that's how right. you do I, it. And I won't. I'll, I'll leave that off the board then, just for the moment. Okay. So, well, I mean, the next step after this check, giving away the whole queen, would be to threaten the um, uh, the the last rank mate with right. the move taking Good. on d three. Now the queen goes back to c five and stops that attempt for now as far as i can tell mm -hmm. okay but hold on but you're a piece up there right no i think i'm a piece oh yeah i'm a piece up yes you're right yeah yeah i'm a piece up after taking the queen that's true so there so... should be a better way maybe so yeah. if e takes d3 and you're not worried about queen takes knight check we just give the so if the queen takes on f3 this is what i want of course because now yeah. we can go with the bishop to g2 and now ah the queen goes back to c6 and what uh no, okay. what the heck yeah okay i'm sorry <laughs> just kidding <laughs> was a little was a little joke i thought okay. you just wanted to to play a little trick here well the queen cannot go back to stop the back rank mate like that as far as i can tell correct and I think that's exactly. the solution. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and that's correct. That's it. Bishop G2, this is the game. How did and, we do uh, this? We know the drill, people. I'm getting better at tactics, and I'm just doing this once a week. Thanks, Lawrence. It's, there you it's go. great. Uh, give checks to, to... This is how you start. Not always, but most of the cases, right? So, yeah. Absolutely. This nice is one. This is absolutely the way to, to do it. And, yeah, this position is uh, just losing. Black can resign this... The the have being an exchange down in this ending is also a yeah. simple win. I have to okay. give I have to give one little insight about uh, on. it's a bit of a comparison to life and uh, chess, which is why I think I like tactics more and more now after all of this. So once we have this impossible thing on the board. We don't know how to start, how to attack this, how to deal with this, what to do with this situation. And normally in life we have situations where we have this problem and we cannot find the uh, solution. And of course it's not always like that, but in tactics it's very straightforward. You have to figure out what to do. So, you see a tactic? Okay, where are the checks? Okay, how, where are the pieces to take? Okay, where are the threats? And this is how you find the clues. And the more you're actively doing this in your brain and working on the position and all of this, the more you find out about the whole situation and you go like, ah, but then this piece is moving there. And then you go this and this. So I like this analogy to, to life a little bit. If you have some problems which you cannot solve, often enough we stand in front of it and we just go, I cannot do that. But maybe often enough the right attempt is to just go, okay, I'll just go with this now and try this out. Okay, this exactly. doesn't work. But it doesn't work because of this now. Ah, this is interesting. Maybe I try it exactly. like that way. Okay, enough of that. This is not a live show. This is a chess show. Let's get to the next riddle. Sorry. <laughs> I'm reading too, too many self-development books at the moment. It's no, brilliant. no, but you're, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely spot on. I mean, that process is the right way. It's A lot of it is process of elimination. And yep. one of the things that I talk about a lot, if people have been watching this show a lot, is how you borrow ideas, you look at something, you see an idea, that line might not be correct, but you keep the idea in your head. Because exactly. you might be able to apply it somewhere else. Yes. Um, so well done. This is it. Okay, next one. All right, this is the game Ullmann against Holtz. Hoya, don't worry. I'll, I'll Hoya, get, I'll, Hoya, I got yeah. this. Hoya. You got the, you got the Holtz Hoya. <laughs> 
Holzhoyer. From Keshkemet. That seems to be Turkey. I no, no, so. that's uh, Hungary. Oopsie, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounded a bit that's Turkish, Hungary. but definitely that could also be Hungarian, and that's what it is. Good. So, so it's right to play. Let's, so let's do the same stuff again. Give a check yeah. on E8. Okay, so the first thing you see is you want to give the check on E8 because you see you've already seen that the BF7 pawn is weak. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Do we have anything else here that looks sensible? Well, we can also give a check on F7 immediately, in my opinion. Yes. Oops. Yes, we can. Okay, so which one do you want to start with? Let's give go with the rooks, though. Okay, so rook E8. Okay, so let's say he takes with the rook first. Mm -hmm. We would take back. Okay, he takes with the knight. And now I would say we take with the queen. Okay, I have to go king h7. Good. So far, so good. Now, if we take the knight, we will lose because we have the piece less. Also, there's some naughty attacks here. That's mm -hmm. just not working. So okay. we have to continue with our chesses, I guess. Follow the chess. My guesses. So the next one, which... Hmm, there's a couple of one. Ah, oh, interesting. So there's two checks which I have in mind. What about you at home? Have you spotted them too? So it's one it's is queen g8 and one is queen f5. F5 looks better for me, so I think I go with that one first. Now the pawn has to does the pawn have to move? Let's Okay. Well, so now if we go necessarily. So now if we go back on f7, then it's going to be made. That's nice. Correct. Okay. So after queen f5, actually, I would probably have to come back to h8. I think, okay, I'm getting closer. Was the same position? No, it's not, because now we can give a check on f8, and that is a different situation. I think if the bishop goes to g8 now, gives a check, we can at least take the knight with the next check. Maybe it's not even necessary. Maybe we just give a check on f7 first. Is this enough threats? So what about how to continue now? Well, the knight will cross the path if I try to give a check on e7. So how about a simple pawn move to h4 okay so now this is you want to go h4 yeah i'm thinking i had a similar situation once with you <laughs> and in all of this spectacle there was this interesting silent move of a king to just like yeah, right. be able mm -hmm. to checkmate and i am not spotting any check from black if i move the king to g2 anyway let's first go with h4 to to just see how this will turn out i guess there's only one well so uh, if i go king g4 it looks very dangerous for for black right um yeah it looks but I, oh. it looks over to me I, uh, but maybe if it looks oh, oh. Dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was a fly just I was like, what's that sound? And the fly just almost fell on me. I'm sorry if you were yeah. irritated about this sound yeah. in the background. Um yeah, we have to check on E6. Right? With the queen. E, that probably is good enough. Yes, and if King H5. The bishop check. Yeah. And it's all over. I that's think that's it, right? Okay. Yeah. And if King F3. So this is, is it just, uh, ah, yeah, it is, right? It is queen e3 and then okay. bishop e6. Six and king here. And how do we end this? Ah, yeah, queen e5, bishop f7, and queen e2. Two. You're so, probably going to get there in the end. Yeah, uh, a bit, a bit. So if here this is mate, here. yeah. So the king has and to if go here, there, but then it's like a little bit of an escape. I think I could do it better, maybe. Anyway. Well, I mean, this this might be mate. What if you give check here? Well, the rook goes in between. And mate. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay. 
Okay, but in any case, I mean, I, I think that was a, a long-winded route. What Very you did long, there. yeah. I mean, you could just go check and take here check, right? That is also just winning. Is it yeah. just, yeah, maybe it is. It's the same position, but you've already taken the knight with check. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, so you, okay, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. With the king goes back, we have the bishop once again, and that's it. Um, yeah. Good, good, good. The yeah, fame, exactly. The yeah. Famous that's pattern, that's right? a famous pattern, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so clear is that we can't go rook takes, but what about knight takes? Does it make a difference? We will see. So let us take with the queen first on f7. King I have there. to go here, only move king here. This is mate, so yeah. only move king h7. Okay, I guess we have to continue with queen g8. Check. Well, what actually? That's oh, no, not. We, we, that's that's what not what we did earlier. So yeah, let's go queen f5. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, queen f5. Okay, g6. Ah, but now the rook is in the way. Nice. Ah, but how about we give a rook check on e7 now instead? Okay, knight g7. And I think is this mate? Yes. So we take on g7 with the rook. Okay. And then we go queen f7 check. And then we... Oh. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Wait a second. That is not working as I planned it to work. Exactly. Okay. Nasty. Good. Let's not take. Let's not take the knight. Let's not give the check, maybe. Let's, let's get a bit... Let's go a bit back here. Okay, so g6... Yeah, so g6, that has to happen. Is it... Well, there's this check of the queen. Is this any... Maybe I can just accept this check. So what about queen f... Uh, then there's the rook going to g8. Oh, that doesn't matter. So, okay. Uh, rook e7 check. Once again. And now queen f7. F7, queen, yeah, I think. Uh, Well, uh, queen f7 is also uh, good enough. Queen f6 or queen f7? I don't f7? think that queen f6 is working. Why? Uh, rook g8. Okay, I take... Okay, good. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect. I'm The check on e1 is not even working because there's a rook in the way. And on b1... It doesn't matter either because there is a bishop which is covering the other line, the diagonal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. This was the end of the game, Queen F6. So, okay. Okay, but a fairly simple exercise, all in all, right? Yeah. We see the weak F7 point, we play rook E8. It's not a particularly difficult exercise. I, I still say. feel great. There we go. You should. <laughs> okay, next one. Previous game, false, previous game. Ah, here we go. Oops. Shh. You didn't see that. You didn't see that, right? Of course I saw that. You saw it. Of Darn it. Okay. That. Well, you were going to play that move anyway. This is the game play uh, against all men. <laughs> we look for the checks, anyways, right? Yeah. So, what about a check on f3 with the knight? I think that looks quite reasonable. Okay, but I think there's a lot to calculate. So, <laughs> we, we were going to look at that anyway. So, this is Queer Uman. You can clearly see this position. Queen attacking here, bishop down here, knight centralized, a few pieces offside here for white. So, you're looking at this move here first. But okay, let's do some calculation then instead of. Uh, so. Um, Good. Yeah. So what happens? So let's look at the forcing lines. Okay. So what happens if he takes with the pawn? So, okay. So it's time for thinking caps, people at home. Put on your inside of this whole board position. Put the mouse away and just think. So what happens if white takes with the pawn? Well, we take back with our pawn. Now that means the white bishop uh, or the bishop on g2 should probably move to h1, which gives us the chance to take on h3 with the queen. Furthermore, the plan is to move one of the knights. Oh no, there's only one left. <laughs> the plan is to move the knight on g4 
uh, f6 to g4 and checkmate on h2. And the question remains, how okay. can white even dodge that after queen h3? Let me see. So the good part is that white is not threatening any checks or any shenanigans on the black side. This is quite helpful because we only need to right. concentrate on how can white avoid the knight on f6 going to g4. Four, or how can the king maybe escape on time? I, th right, okay. I think that actually the it's really difficult to st stop this. I think it's not possible. So the knight on c2 wants to go to e3, but it's not working, of course. So There's basically, so far, way. so so we're so we're looking at check, mm -hmm. pawn takes. Yep. Pawn takes. Yep. Bishop h one. Yes. Queen h three. Takes pawn. And now you're basically saying either knight g four to threaten mate, yes. or maybe even a rook lift. Right. One one of these two. I didn't think of the rook lift yet. Ah, okay. Be... Because after. Uh, uh, so my question to you then is, so knight g4 is an immediate threat threatening queen h2 and mate. Yeah. So what about the move rook d4? That's the move I was trying yeah. to find. Excellent. Right. Good. Yeah, that stops the knight. That is the stopper for for the knight. Okay, mm -hmm. good. I don't even have to... I, I'm almost certain there is no way of how to dodge this because any attempt going to e4 with the rook or something then the white bishop can take on f3 or we just take on e4 or yeah something like that so what do you want to do so yeah instead of the oh wait this is this is what happened yeah so we just do no. the rook lift thingy so it's a rook... well hold on so rook e5 i see a big problem with rook e5 do what is you... what can white do after rook e5 gotcha it's h4 correct rook e5 he can now defend with rook h4 and oops, all of a sudden nice. the queen is evicted and well, there's definitely no mate yeah. here, right? Suddenly. Okay. Good. So we have to be precise. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Okay, this is quite interesting. Good. So well, this is not good. So I'm g5 doesn't work that well because the bishop will just take and if we take back the queen will take and then actually black is in trouble a bit now so now black has the opposite problem funnily enough to try to avoid the white rook going to h4 so yeah so rook to h4 so you need to block it in in some sense exactly right? so i'm thinking there's a couple of ways so I'm thinking of bishop e4. Yeah. Because but now the bishop cannot take on f3. And if it takes a bit more time, yeah, that's fine. But our rook can go to e5 and then to h5, maybe. Uh, but after bishop e4, can he not give up the rook there? Can he not take and then take this pawn? That's my concern. That is a very, very valid uh, concern. Exactly. Or is it? No, oh, it looks bad. But it's interesting because, of course, the rook can go to h4. And if the pawn wait, takes... Wait, but after knight takes, you mean? Or what, what, after what move? After, you... after rook takes e4... The bishop yeah. takes, e, yeah. and then the rook goes to h4, and then the pawn takes the rook, because yeah. otherwise it's mate, and then the yeah. queen takes f3. But maybe, yeah, we're it a, just takes too much time. But we're a piece down, right? And yeah. after a move like queen d1, queen you know, we're h3. losing a lot. Yeah, but bishop f4 or something, the bishop can sit on g3. Yeah. That's a good way to stop that. Okay, that, that doesn't work. Okay, so we need a precise move here. But it's okay, we keep on going. We don't give up. That is true. So good. Then how about... Well, that 
Okay, let's try, let's try before just going too crazy with other things. What about the knight going to e4 instead? So the bishop would take, is there any threat? So the knight going to e4, ah, okay. So what's the, the plan behind knight e4? A discovered attack to the bishop on f3 if if they take also right but i mean let's just say again white plays a random move so i want to know your concept. well then we can really just take on c3 i guess cool. and that looks good ah now you want to take on c3 i think that's then good enough going. yeah okay also knight takes g3 looks particularly tempting no does it oh yeah true. Oh, this is a beautiful oh that is card. true it's actually really a thing yeah i saw i thought the whole time it doesn't work for some reason hmm. right interesting so actually knight e4 is a serious option so as you correctly said now let's have a look at what to do after our yeah. bishop takes f3 good i think white will win too many pieces back if we take on c3 uh, Jesus, this fly is going crazy i'm not sure if you can hear anything ah uh, so you yours i can't i can't hear it so you're saying something like but this is very strong. But what, what do you mean he'll win so many pieces? So, so we're threatening the bishop, and if he takes... Uh, we give a check on... Oh, that's a mate. It's mate. <laughs> it's a very, very... But British. White has so many pieces for that mate. Yes, he has a lot of pieces, but the game is over. It's, it's a bit like, um, you know, you're, 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 a, you're, a, you're Jeff Bezos. A little, and, yes. And you know, I, one of my yachts sunk. Yeah, exactly. But you've got a lot of yachts left. So. Yeah. Ah, damn uh, it. <laughs> anyway, so... Okay. So, yeah. So... What okay. about knight going to c3 in this case, then? If that is not possible to take. Because uh, now we have a new threat. We can take on f3. But then we have the old threat again. Oh, or is it... Sorry, oh, where, where, I'm, I'm missing... I'm missing the idea. Sorry, say that again. Sorry, if what, what? That's fine. Take on f3 with the bishop. Yeah. And now we take on c3 with the yeah. knight. And yeah. now the rook goes to h4. Ah, now rook h4, yes. Yeah. But and now, now white, we uh, give a check on e2. Correct. Ah, uh, it's so nice. Pretty, huh? Yeah. Um, so that wins. So actually, knight e4 just wins immediately. That's so there's, crazy. There's nothing to do. So actually then... So what happens all... if the rook takes the knight, though? Ah. Uh, Sorry, well, I have if to the rook, interfere here. Yeah. If the rook takes the knight, suddenly now the uh, the ideas of defending aren't there. So either bishop takes or rook takes probably looks good. I would probably go... Um, the rook can just take and bishop go to takes. h4. The rook can just yeah. take and go to h4. It's so easy. Or the rook can take and go to h4, but also bishop takes this way is here. The problem with rook takes, I guess, is that he might have bishop f4. Oh, that's nice. Just blocking us for Just the moment. Disgusting. Yeah. So bishop takes, I think, is better um, mm -hmm. with rook e5. And if he goes bishop f4 now, uh, yeah, bishop f4 is annoying. If I may well, say so. not. I wouldn't use the word annoying. So, I mean, it feels. For, well, we're not even material down, <laughs> right? It, this is definitely not a, a spot to be annoyed. Um. Actually, you know what? I found the winning move with the well, rook. If the bishop goes to f4. Oh, okay. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> forget it. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I man. wanted to take the knight on c2 now, which is very difficult with the rook. It's very, yeah, difficult. I mean, it's, a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful new move. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, yeah, but I mean, okay, just go bishop takes, and if bishop f4, you can just you can actually just continue. There is you can even just go g5 here, it's not a big deal. Bishop e3 and f5 or something. You can even go nuts here, play f4 on the next and I queen g4 check. I think we can be pretty sure that black is better here. Yes, yes. absolutely. Well, black, is, black is just winning, actually. So, okay. So, okay. So, long story short, 
why it can't take the night. Okay, but it's... Uh, it, 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 okay, okay, sorry, I, I just found something beautiful, I think. Once again, I have to try this out. Yeah, let's go back to this, exactly. So yeah. if if the knight took on f... Yeah, exactly. And now the bishop takes... And... Where, where, yeah, and you play g5, and the bishop goes back to e3. Mm -hmm. So now... Oh, I see it. We, I see okay, it. I think, I think it's really working. So we take on c2, and now we take on e3. And now we give it, oh, I th oh, I wanted to give it check on F2, but that's even, uh, no, this is that's, better. that's much better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not made, but. It's a w w easy winning. Rook yeah, and I point. think it's, yeah, but yeah, I actually had another idea. Unfortunately, yeah. Anyway, it's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's good enough. That's the important thing. All righty. Really um, so, okay. So. Okay, so what happens then after King H1, I guess, is the question, right? That is such a good question. That is a great question. That is such a good question, isn't it? Hmm. Hey, people at home, what what to do here, please? That's annoying. I would be annoyed as black now. I have this master plan, figured it all out in the last 10 minutes in my head, and then I'm playing it, and then the king goes to h1. And I'm like, wait, what? That wasn't, that wasn't what we were talking about. <laughs> I had a different plan. Okay, so let's try and work but, something yes. out. Yes, so we cannot give any checks. We cannot really take anything. So we have to build up some interesting threats, I guess. Now, it would be nice if... <sighs> that doesn't... Okay, what, what was... What, what, what was... Yeah, exactly. So think about the thing that I said in one of the last examples, right? So we often take ideas from the forcing variations yeah. and reapply them, right? Yeah. Good. So let us just uh, move our rook to e5. Absolutely. Not even a not even a sweat. Mm -hmm. We want to mm -hmm. ship this rook over and pile through here on on h3. That's the plan. So okay, rook e5. Um. So what can happen after? Okay. So let's say white plays knight e1. Tries to get rid of this. Knight. Yeah, that's a good idea. Annoying. No, well, is it? So, can what happens if we go to h5? The knight. No, who takes. We carry on. We absolutely takes, carry on, right? Yeah, who takes back the knight? Well, if, it, if the knight takes back, we take back. And we have yeah. the same threat. And we have the same stuff, right? And this looks very, very bad. Okay. So, what about the move? Uh, pawn to h4. Mm. What about the move pawn to h4? So immediately, I mean, I, I almost like, I, I moved forward out of a reflex to take on h5, uh, h4 with the knight, of course. Totally reasonable uh, thing to, to do, I would say. Uh, okay, so knight takes h4. Question is, how good is this? Because if white takes back, we give a check, the king goes back to g1. Now we have to move our queen, I think. There's not too many squares left, so let's go to g4 with the queen. But actually no threat. No threat at all, it's stupid. Yeah, and in fact, we might give White a chance to consolidate. Remember, we should also yeah. not just look at the attacking ideas that we have. The defensive ideas of our opponent also comes to mind, right? And if we're not careful here, it looks as though White can defend. Okay, so do we have something better here? The rook takes h4 is the automatic move, but is it the only move? Yeah, I didn't even think about it, right? I didn't even right. think about anything else than rook takes taking on h4 which is also funny 
Right. Well, what about getting the queen to g4 now and try to take this pawn on h4 with the queen? Because now we have exactly. threats. Exactly. So queen to g4 now. This looks very, very decent. It indeed. looks good. What happens after f3? Well, this doesn't look like it's going to hold to me because we give check. King. I mean... Let's see, is there a mate here? Okay, let's say we give check. Okay, well, there's not many moves, and now that's the knight check. Well, then pawn takes. But let's say we take here first. Okay, right. I, I see a lot of options, actually. Yeah, Taking, okay, we take back with the pawn. I think we have to. Yeah, this is mate. Yeah. Uh, sorry, this is no, not, not mate uh, well, at all. Actually, it gives a spot to flee. Yeah, but if we win the piece back, we're up a thousand pawns and the attack continues, right? Mm. So this is this is just completely winning. We don't have to analyze it. Okay, so pawn takes, and now I see it. Uh, uh, I think something that looks winning here to to my eyes. Hmm. Um, huh. Uh, rook e8? Well, you can do that, but you've been you've been going with the uh not not a good move at all. Then there's uh, rook. Well, there's rook, rook h1. Rook okay, so let's go back a little bit here. So um Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it's not so clear. And actually, this is the reason why this was not played. <laughs> but what I just still want to know what happens after king goes to g1, knight, uh, uh, queen check on h2, king to f2, and then rook to h3. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. It's nothing. It's a bubble. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is really difficult. Yeah. And there's so many options, which doesn't make it easier. Hmm. Okay. So. Um, Does king move to h1? So it's, it's really a bit, so, so just to go back then. So, you know, sometimes we get into a position then where, you know, uh, uh, you, uh, you know, you, you have an obvious looking move like knight takes h4, just yeah. destructive yeah. sacrifice, but maybe you can actually improve. So the question is, do we have uh, a move that isn't... Uh, Let us take uh, with the rook. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think we take with the rook, no? right? Because, no, because... Well, I mean, what's to follow up? Queen g4 again with yeah, threatening but, mate. Right, but now he's probably going to take, let's say, take here like we this. Take back. And your claim is that this is winning anyways, huh? Which, by the it way, I might have great. completely underestimated you because it does look good. It looks quite good, yeah. I wouldn't know what to continue with. Well, we just take here, no? Quick check. That's mate. Ah, oopsie. Sorry. Pardon. Let's give a check on g4. Let's give a check on h3. And let us get a knight to g4. Ah, you! <laughs> Stop that. There you go. So as it turns out, right? Um, annoying. Yeah, okay. It's very annoying. So let's go. Okay, we have to go back even further. We so here, go back so further. keep on, remember, the move sometimes has to be inserted, but maybe just a different order, let's say. Okay, now what happens if we immediately get our queen to g4? Exactly. What about the move queen to g4 immediately? Um, this is now looking, now knight takes h4 looks very dangerous. It and does. if we have the same thing, at the very least, this time, we're not even a piece down, right? 
Yeah. And we can get to this position. Okay. Material is actually equal here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it looks still powerful. I mean, G5 and... Exactly. That's very, very strong. Well done. The move G5. That's actually the, the bone crusher. You're opening him up. Yeah. I think this People... is really difficult to avoid. Funny, right? Just a pawn move. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so after G5. Rook D3? Uh, no. No, maybe not Rook D3, but uh, Rook D4, D4 perhaps. Okay. Yeah. Rook D4. So can we not but... just go to E4 with our knight? Then maybe queen d1, I think, was his idea. So knight e4, queen d1 yeah, looks... D. Yeah, like we're losing a bit of control. So what's the other thing about the rules of the attack, let's say? Involve uh, all pieces. Correct. Let's get our rook to e8. Thank you very much. Let's get our rook to e8. Also, this now prevents queen d1. True. Why? We can just take on e3. E3, exactly. And then we mop up. And in the worst case scenario... In oh, these positions, we have yet, a draw. Yeah. It's not made yet, but you know you can give check. Uh, you can take take here check. Um, in fact, this is what happened in the game. It went queen d one, and he did take. And in fact, here he Ullman found a very nice move. Actually, he found g four, just blocking communication. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that's very nice. G four is amazing. Yeah, G G nice. G4 is very, very nice. So Download um, this position, guys. This is uh, deep stuff. Maybe you find something different, too. <laughs> I mean, that's great. Shall we do a little bit of tactics? Let's do some, some tactics. Or do you, have, do, you, do, you, do you have a game left? No. no. Uh, let, let, let's do some... Uh, let's do a little let's bit of do... tactics. Right. We'll try and improve on... What we built uh, up last time. Yes. Okay, everybody, off to the tactics section. Let us get our rating adjusted a bit. Don't move too quick. Think for a long time. Do it as long as we're doing it, 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Oh, yeah, I have to adjust our size. Oops. There we go. Okay, so... so whoop. Is it just C four bishops? I guess so. It's yeah. an uh, it's an easy yeah. one, and you just want to yeah win win uh, some material. I actually bits. think we've solved this before, but we're just gonna make it easy. Good. Win a rook. This one is fairly simple. We I'll take throw this on D four and give a check. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. So now, here we we have arrived. We <laughs> the, slightly more difficult. The difficulty has landed. But I don't actually. I mean, I think I found it, but I don't see it as that difficult, really, whatsoever here. So I'm. I think so it's skeptic. pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm almost a hundred percent as well. What? Oh, I haven't seen it yet, or haven't found it yet. Okay, what's the move you want to make in this position? If you were given a move, you could just play it. What move would it be? G2 takes. So yeah, queen takes G2. And then queen takes back. And then we take no, back. no, but but what I'm saying is you would want to ah, play queen, yeah, yeah, sure, to mate, right? They in an ideal world. So the thing stopping you from winning this position is the queen on d2. I or rather... see. So we go with the bishop to uh, with the knight to b3, or no, no, cannot work. no I think there's a cleaner way because you're not obstructing the queen to the to the pawn, right? Oh, it's the knight to e2, you mean, yeah. Sure, but, why not? Okay, and what happens if the knight, uh, if the bishop takes on f4? But the point is the g2 pawn is no longer protected, right? Oh, you're so right. Knight. You're so right. So now we checkmate? That's it. Great. And the other point is that uh, if he goes rook f2, 
now you can just take on e3 that's the whole point nice one very yeah. cute like all right that. still difficult okay still difficult. again first move looks pretty clear cut and in fact whole position looks kind of clear cut to Does me it again That's yeah somehow let's see how you do with this one see it yet i can i can no this cannot be correct oops i guess wow i'm very clueless oh okay is it e4 well that's the move i th i think it is i mean i find it difficult to believe that there's anything really else here of course um, f cannot take e4 so bishop takes if we take the bishop with the queen they take right. back and we take on f6 queen takes we take and then we have a piece more do we is this pawn any any threat or can we stop it easily with our bishop no we can stop it with our king even okay i think e4 is the correct move okay yeah i'm pretty sure it is so we're going to sacrifice the queen to enter right i think so okay takes nice and that's it it yeah. says solve yeah so I after think takes because... takes if he goes queen here uh we just take on g6 right yeah that's okay. it okay and if he goes here we give a check on oh no we do Ooh. not well maybe you do it's also possible oh we it's can possible. yes you're right we give a check on f7 right because if he takes we take with the knight and his yeah. rook is hanging at the end but what is if the rook goes to f8 now well now you take on d6 right Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so actually, he would have to go king h8, and here is where I think you have I a mean, clear move. Yeah, it's the knight to f7, I guess. Oh. No, that's not the move I'm looking at, actually. No. Funnily enough. No. But that is no. so clear. It's uh, That is winning. I cannot it's... see anything against it. Uh, but there's even a more clearer move. Or... Yeah, I think so. Is it who? I think there is. Uh, rook h6 check? No, 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 no. Rook f5. Exactly. Okay, what if the queen takes the rook? Well, but now we're just a piece up, right? And it's we? Yes, we no are. problem. And if that's his only move, which it looks like it, because rook takes h5 is mate. What if the... Oh, that's not working, true. There are no ah. checks. Yeah, that's the only move, true. Okay, it's that's very straightforward. Can I quickly look at the other idea I had? So what about knight uh, f7 check? Uh, knight f7 check. So there's only one move. I mean, the king goes to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now we give a check on h6. Okay. Uh, and I see what you want to do. Yeah, yeah you but wanna... it's not really working as. No, it I is planned. working. Not as, it is working. It is kind of, but yeah, not as good oh. as I thought it would work. So well, yeah, d5. Well, well, yeah, this is crushing still. Bishop this... e5. You just take it. Uh, queen takes. And Knight then we takes... take the rook. Okay, and then you can go back to f7 and win the rook on. Your, oh, your yeah, table. we actually win even better. Yeah, true. We have a million. <laughs> oh, my God. It all wins. Yeah, it it everything wins. wins. Very oh, good. Cool, 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 cool. Very good. Oh, Very nice. good. All right. This one here looks. Weird. Um, Very weird. Well. Does it look very weird? Yes. Is it is it a, the is it the rook Looks, taking on g two? Yeah, it's just winning. But the, so that you're, is so that is so difficult. Well, is it? Yeah, you because there is a check seconds. on h eight, and then we have to go to d seven, and then okay, and then nothing happens, right? Because our king is safe. Right. Oh, funny. Is there any way to block the queen? What a funny. What a. 
That would irritate me so much. Wait, what is with the queen f8 check? It's same thing. King goes to d7 is safe. Yeah, exactly. So if the queen comes here, yeah, or wow. check here, you just you just go up here and it's yeah. it's the end yes, of the game. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I didn't even think of taking the bishop on e7 because I yeah, felt like you don't want to... Yeah, yeah. No, exactly, because you give him the check on f6 and then Funny. Yeah, yeah. You just dance on the light squares. Nice, good. All right, this one here looks very straightforward to me. Rook f3, what black to play. Well, that also looks so much like it's a g4 move, but... Yeah. What, whoa, 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 No, no, no. <laughs> Why are you so quick? <laughs> because it's correct. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I, but I, now we have to be let, careful. Let me just say we had the situation where we were certain a couple of times. <laughs> no, but this one is... So, so can we just... What happens if we... Oh, there's a checkmate threat. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah. But okay, black really just has one move here, right? I would assume. So we give a check on C2, or what do you mean? No, no, that's not the move I would play, actually. This is, out of a sudden, it's difficulty 2400 almost, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black only has one move. Well, we can't move wow. the B-pawn pinned. Can't move the king, it's mate in two. So we have to rook, rook to c5? Yeah. Whoa, 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 all right, all right, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm. Uh... That there's so many options. This cannot be correct. What? No. A... How can you be so sure about this obscure move? <laughs> It's so it's not, crazy. Is it? Yes. Wow, maybe I'm insane then. <laughs> well, we 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 know all we all know. <laughs> I mean, I could just be insane, of course. So. Possibly. So, okay, why is queen c2 not working? Well, cuz after queen takes rook takes king takes pawn takes f3 rook e7 or something or bishop takes pawn it's we're not even that much material up, right? Okay, so okay, so what happens after rook c5? What can white do here? What is well, the precisely. threat? What is the threat? Or what are any threats? What if white goes to a3 with the rook? Attacking the queen. Yeah, for that that exists with a check threat on a six. By the way, yeah, that does that does exist. Um... No, it actually doesn't exist. I'm so stupid. We just take on c two and checkmate. Okay, forget uh, about don't. that. Because oh, it's the rook. It's the rook, not the queen, which is going there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. No, it's it's still a little tricky here. I think it's very tricky. But I think we have... I mean, I think we're low you, on options here, You think right? there's just no other move, huh? Yeah. Which is so weird. I'm so skeptical. Okay, Lawrence, so shall we just do this then? I mean, I see no other move. That's the problem. I see no other move. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so let's try it. So rook c4. Okay. Oh, there you go. It was wrong, I screwed right? Up. Yeah. It was wrong. Okay, so we need a genius move here then. Maybe it was your queen takes c2, and what we're about, just slightly better. What about bishop e e3? The rook takes queen takes. So then king we takes. can give the check on c. But then king a1 and there's no mate. Oh no. But maybe it is just go to go into descending. I might have miscounted actually. We might be a pawn up. That would be weird. This is freaking difficult. Um No, maybe not that difficult. 
Okay, let's do this thing again. Queen c2, queen c2, rook c2. King it probably is that. Take c2. And we take on f3. The rook goes to e7. We give a check on f5. And the king... Hmm, that's so strange. Well, no. It's... I, I, think, I think it is going to be that, because this bishop takes a 5 check saves us, basically. It doesn't. I don't see it, though. It, it's the move. Trust me. Wow. <gasps> what the heck? It's all right. It's I all mean, right. Um, I mean, can we just uh, think we? there's no other check, right? Oh, there is a check. He wants to. He wants. He wants rook b3 checks. Yeah. It's possible we have to go king b8. It's possible. King b8. Okay, let's calculate. Actually, we have some bishop a4 at the end. Well, so Difficulty is 1,000. That normally okay, we have to take it. that we take, yeah. Yeah. Rook b3 and now king back to a8. That, wait, wait, wait. We have five, four different spots. Five. We have five moves. We can put the bishop in between. We can go to a8. We can go to c8. So c7. Well, we can't put the bishop in between. That doesn't make any sense because he just takes our rook. All oh, right. Okay. We want to move the king and play bishop a4. I'm pretty sure the correct square is a8. But and if rook what e7, yeah, was... rook e7. So maybe rook we have to be closer to our bishop. No, but rook c1 is mate. He can't move the rook. If king a8, rook e7, rook c1 is made. Okay, I get it. But what what is against c6, c7, and c8? Uh, Does there, is there anything? That's a good question. Because we have to find the best move. Yeah. What a long riddle. That's a killer. That's the point. Also, okay. That's the point. So maybe this is just this diagonal, which is a bit weird. Okay, let us think. Uh, King c7, bishop b6 check. And yeah, I don't like the king on c7, giving the, the yeah. bishop opportunities. I think it's c8 or a8. I don't know which one is better, though. If it goes to... What is about the check on Probably c3? C8. That's just a stupid move. Well, then we just take it, right? After king c8, rook c3 check, we just uh, take it. What is the problem here? I think it's c8. I think you want your king closer towards the center, simply. Is there, I, unfortunately, I'm too dumb to see the differences between the three moves which are available, or four. All right, me too. So we're in the same boat. <laughs> Let's go King C8. Let's cause... do this. Yeah, otherwise it takes too long. Okay. That's oh, it. my God. Okay, let's take a computer look. I want to see about the this b7 last move but we've done we've we're at 2550 we have done it at least so that's quite cool yeah so so it only gives black a slightly better right tiny bit better yeah have to take okay king yeah, a8 is... it also likes by the way so maybe in c7 it also likes so it's a very... okay okay so probably maybe there was no difference in those moves but sometimes we have to so. check yeah absolutely excellent Ooh. all right ladies and gentlemen thanks for tuning in i hope you had fun we definitely had it and uh, we will see each other soon again for some more tactics thank you lawrence bye bye everybody thank you guys bye